Hello guys, welcome to the video, I hope you all are well. Today's video guys is for the Demon Hunter, Lazy Bones guys, GR Speeds. I do apologise for my voice, I've been sick over the last week, so I'll try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. So basically guys, this build is all about being super lazy. Pretty much all you got to do is hold down right click, and you just want to you're aim for about 2 minutes per clear in the GR. So adjust your GR accordingly to the power of your character. And my current power, power con, uh, character guys, and power... I can do about 112 in, a, in around about two minutes I run on this current build. So uh, let's show it's an action though. So we've got about the season buff guys. So Strafe Dale cast the last non-channeled hatred spending ability cast. So basically right at the start of the round of the uh, ref you just cast Impale once. And then Impales get shot out automatically by Strafe. Okay, it's disgusting. Okay, so here we go. 112. So cast around power once and then cast Shadow Power. Start spinning. And that's it. Hold down right click, run into the enemies. And keep popping. Smoke screen, special recipe. Okay, just keep popping this. It's your speed boost. Got Echo and Fury as well. We go over the gear and uh, all the stuff, guys, in a sec. Always pick up health globes because it recharges our discipline, which is really, really important. And also, guys, the closer you get to an enemy, the more damage you're going to do with impales because it ricochets between them. Okay, because this is uh, basically a lightning build. Boom. Same map again, unfortunately, it's a shame. But yeah, literally just hold down right click, guys. You know, and that's it, pretty much it. Zoom around. And just watch everything die. It's so lazy. You could literally have a beer in the other hand, guys, on the go. You know? <laughs> just have a beer on the go, boys. You know? It's, it, I love this build. It's so good. It's so lazy. And also, it's very easy to uh, gear for as well. Because all you need is an Echo Fury, guys. Main hand. And you just put Kalari's point into the cube, you know, so you can max out all the damage straight away, which is great. You know, let me just go over here, keep tapping, and you can see, guys, it's just easy. So, like I said earlier, you need to make sure whatever GR you can do with your current power of your character, do the highest GR you can in two minutes. That's that's what you're aiming for, two minutes, yeah? Two minutes. You need to just hold down right click, and it's just so easy, guys. Look at this. It's so easy. It's just blast, guys. Get so much loot, Paragon, and all that good stuff. Oh, there's no Shrine there that time. That's a shame. Alright, next area. You gain hatred by hitting enemies multiple times. So if you're in a too low GR, you won't generate enough hatred. This is the way it, the Impale works. Dun, dun, okay, I've watched out for those bombs. You are a little squishy this build, because I'm using the more cheesy and arm guards, as we call it. But you can opt out for uh, Raps of Clarity for more tank, if you want to, especially if you're on Hardcore. We'll go over that in a sec. There's the boss. And it's dead, you know. Oh, a little bit over two minutes that time, guys, but 12 minutes 53. So, you know, I should be doing about, depends on the map, about 111, 112 for my current character. So, like I said, just adjust accordingly, test it out. And see what uh, the highest ref you can do with this build within two minutes. And just repeat and you just get loads of crazy loot, guys. Loads of loot, loads of XP. And like I said, you can have a beer in the other hand. <laughs> Which is uh, always nice, guys. Always nice, man. I right, need to get some more gems on the go. All right, guys. So let's go back to town. And we go over all the gear, skills, and cube, etc. Et okay. Lovely. But yeah, it's, it's super. <clears throat> it's super, super chill, man. It's so lazy. I love it. You can literally just no-brain the build, man. And just blast through, guys. Just blast through. By right, the guys, so uh, let's show what is in the build. Now, of course, we guys were using the Empower set, the Shadow's Mantle. While equipped with a melee weapon, your damage increased by 6,000%. So we use the hammer, so prox that straight away. Four set bonus, Shadow Power gains the effect of every ring, lasts forever. So you only cast this once. Shadow Power here, you get all these rings for free damage reduction, healing, etc., etc. Just pop that and bang, it's on forever. Awesome, love it. Then, guys, Empower deals an additional 75,000 weapon damage to the first enemy hit, and then 25,000 to subsequent enemies. Okay, so as you're casting Impales, it's all blasting out. If you're right on top of an enemy, you're gonna get multi crits. And this is gonna go straight into a man, just go bang and just watch them one shot. Only go into an enemy like that, so the Elite Pack, when you pop your smoke screen special recipe, which makes you invisible for one second, so the enemies basically can't see you. So, say, Kadala, man, is an enemy. You start spinning, then just pop smoke screen, bang. And there you go. You can, and come back out again, okay? Just go walla 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 one second, then go back out again, okay? And that way they can't see you during the rotation. Lovely. Brim. 
All right, guys, we're using Captain Crib as well to increase our damage, which is lovely. So our two-step bonus regenerates 6,000 6, life per second, reduces all cooldown of skills by 20%, which is really useful. Then reduces all resource costs by 20% as well, which helps you spam smoke screen man for your speed boost from your passive. Brilliant. Then, guys, you can basically get more damage for more, more CDR you have on free set bonus, and you also take less damage for more um, for a resource cost reduction in your build as well. Okay, so I'm right now. I'm using a diamond helmet because I want more damage. But if I want to spam smoke strings or more, what I could do, and then also gain more tank, is pop in a uh, a topaz in my helmet, a uh, perfect topaz, man. Or I should say, flawless royal. Pop that in the helmet. Then it gives us twenty percent extra uh, resource cost cross and procs damage reduction from your crimsons. Okay, and also helps you spam this, like I said earlier, because it's gonna take you less discipline. But test it out and uh, see how you can go. Lovely. So guys, you want to use Echoing Fury main hand. Why do you want to use Echoing Fury? It gives you a twenty-five percent movement buff straight away, which is brilliant. And we're actually making use of the fear proc. Now, my one's only a very low fear proc, but you can see I was flying around the screen at really good speed. It goes up to 20% fear. Fear is really useful in this build because of Retchel's Ring of Larsenry. I love this thing, man. So, um, while you're fearing an enemy, you gain up to a 60% movement speed. Okay? Up to 60% movement speed. So, he's proccing this ring bonus, movement speed bonus, all the time with these two items. And it's you just zoom around the map like crazy. So good. I absolutely love it, man. It's so good. Then, guys, of course, holy point shot of your offhand. Make sure you have the seasonal buff on this item from Angelic Crucibles, okay? Which is these here. Just pick one of these up, right click it, put it on the item, so it rolls correctly, and hopefully the right legendary power as well. And Strafe now cast the last non channeled hatred spend ability cast. And also power throws two additional knives and deals 100% increased damage, okay? So um, I'm using Lightning Sup because I like Ricochet. The Lightning Ricochet ricochets to the two additional nearby enemies so when you're doing this really low content you know just as you see it just wipes out the trash straight away it just gives you super fast progress man and uh yeah you just blast basically get loads of paragon and good gear brilliant man it's awesome so good i think guys so rings in and gems so i use retros man for the movement speed buff also guys uh i forgot to mention that echoing fury gives you 75 percent increased attack speed as well so make sure sheet dps fly through the roof which is really really nice <laughs> awesome it's really easy to get an ancient one of this guys because it always rolls gg as well every time you get one this one's actually weak and we're blasting with it so you guys rest your guys with uh zia stun of vengeance so the further we are away from our target the more damage you do it also does the stun which is great for blasting through quick trash as well as traveling super fast then guys we're using zodiac ring so as we're casting strife it's resetting our cooldowns okay so this is how you keep all your cooldowns especially vengeance you want to keep this buff up all the time so as zodiac will basically proc and get this off cooldown super super quick awesome then guys are using taiga for the increased armor uh, as we're channeling and it should damage buff as well on top then guys squirts necklace with a massive damage buff it can kill you sometimes because of the uh the negative effect but it's definitely worth using and when you're using doing lower content like this most of the time you'll be absolutely fine okay and then guys will always use bane of the trap so you guys are using shadow set then so using gloves shoulders helm chest plate and boots as usual and for bracer guys use the more cheesy and arm guards for really low content because as you uh, bust a breakable okay you're gonna get a short burst of speed which is really useful especially with this season where keep depths see keep spawning all the time which is really really annoyed but keep depths has a lot of breakables so wearing this bracer lets you zoom for that map super quick and efficiently if you have any issue guys with toughness in this build you can take this out you'll go a bit slower but you can pop in of course wraps of clarity which gives you damage reduction but from your hatred generator from your hatred generators okay up to 50 percent so when you engage in leap pack what you can do while you're spinning is just tap bowlers once tap bowlers once bang there's your damage reduction and now you should be absolutely fine to engage the elite pack but like i said you know you should be fine once you've got a few wargs and paragon and right currently gold gear so definitely pop this on instead get that massive move speed bonus unless you're playing hardcore of course guys make sure <laughs> you don't die you know what i mean because uh rip 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 Love it, guys. I'm using, because uh, I'm going glass cannon, I want nothing but damage. I put emeralds in my chest and legs. If you have issues with the survivability, you can just pop in diamonds instead, which will give you all resistance, which will keep your demon hunter more safe and alive. Brilliant. Okay, guys, what's in the queue? Of course, Kalari's point, okay? So um, this is one of the best things about this build. You don't need to find a good Kalari's point, because you can just go with Fury Mainham, which you can get super easy, super quick. 
and just pop this in here guys to get the 375 percent increased damage um increase to impale which is great also returns 15 hatred if the enemy hits or already is impaled so if you're doing too low content and you're not multi hitting monsters then um you're not going to get your hatred back so you make sure you're doing a gr that you're at least hitting the monsters twice to keep your hatred apt for power it's very very important then guys back to our channel so as we're strafing we are proccing these shoulders with extra 25 percent increased damage and damage reduction and of course guys ring of royal grandeur to achieve six piece bonus on the shadow's mantle and three piece bonus here on the captain crimsons brilliant right guys other key things to the build of course is the follower so it's, especially if you're solo you know it's very very important to make sure you have the correct follower set up so i'm currently using charm and amplification on the enchantress which gives us a massive damage boost you need to have intel up to about 25k to get the 10 percent buff i'm also using power shield as well because it's less damage from ranged attacks and then guys i'm actually using fate slaps which is basically self rose you can't see it because my fat head's in the way in the moment <laughs> but you can also go for focus wipe from even more attack speed but to be honest you probably have enough with crazy echoey fury if you're on softcore make uh, sorry hardcore make sure you got fate slaps on for the extra self res just in case this uh, guys gear set up for my follower is my general setup i use across all builds pretty much for gr push and speeds on uh on the current season okay this is my preferred setup feel free to chop and change it but the main things you need as of course is flavor of time to double all pylon effects so two minutes shield two minutes speed one minute power conduit and all that makes you just go so much quicker so make sure always sure that you've got flavor of time nemesis braces some of the elite packs from the, the shrines as well and uh, all this is very key to make yourself blast through okay but like i said earlier it's about general setup so this is used for this is mainly used for pet builds and just general setup okay so i always use stone gauntlets with ice climbers so if i'm using a pet build my enchantress can stay alive you know obviously with this one here we're using smoky thurible she, she can't die anyway but if i was playing a pet build say i don't know which doctor one like spiders then i could just switch in one token and she's good to go for a pet build as well which is great awesome so yeah, guys so i still got let's man with ice climbers i use canes it's just a swap out for t16 check out the t6 videos on the channel thunder fury guys procs via wild bird ring for a stun which interrupts monsters and uh, the rift guard from attacking you which is really good use an amethyst and a weapon for a life on hit in case i do play a pet build and then wild bird ring with uh esoteric alteration for the damage reduction mutilation guard and uh the green gem here guys gives the man to keep her alive but you know if you're if you're playing this build with the structural tone you don't have to do this okay like i said it's just for a pet setup in case attack speed guys across all the gear okay so we're using witching hour uh i should use a tarash's chest as well really i just don't have one so i'm just still using this aquila because it's just a stat stick but tarash has attack speed on it as well which helps the her do the stun okay oculus ring guys gives you pulls of power as well for more damage uh, home impaired so if you teleport during a rift you get the damage reduction buff which is really handy for hardcore blind faith guys procs are blind on the rift guard and any other target she attacks which is really good and uh there you go. that is the follower setup all right guys core skills let me go over the rotation one more time bowlers guys freezing strike so as you're spinning with strafe it's going to cast bowlers as well and um it's freezing strike shoot free bowlers that deal 160 weapon damage cold blah 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 enemies here have a 50 percent chance to be frozen and this procs cold the weak okay so bang straight away maybe you get that big 20 percent increase straight there strafe guys drifting shadow so 100 percent movement speed buff which is great and we'll, after you've cast impale once during the run and then you start spinning it starts chucking the powers out automatically so good shadow power guys well the dark doesn't matter when you have because remember you get all runes you get night bane blood mood well gloom and shadow glide you get all runes from that which is really really nice spoke scene guys special recipe this is in the build okay so um cool down 1.5 seconds cost eight discipline so when you pop this you have one second that you're completely invisible the monsters won't attack you okay so when you pop in this it's proccing tactical advantage so we're getting an extra 60 percent movement speed for two seconds which is really really nice okay and like i said earlier when you're engaging the monster saying it really strong like an elite okay start spinning and then pop smoke screen special recipe as you're going into it and then you're invisible for one second he won't attack you unless there's like an orbiter there or you know a bomb going off obviously it's not going to protect you from that but as you go into leap pack just pop it one second then go in and out then go in again bzz, do the damage and pop out okay and just repeating that until he's dead easy then guys in power ricochet you can actually play any version of this build that you want you know fire is extremely good for chemical burn for that really high dps single target but for this particular build guys ricochet on lightning is perfect because it's just um you know when it's when it's re you know, ricocheting across all the monsters like you're just killing trash so quick and the progress bar just goes which is perfect for these low bgr speeds man 
super sale ages. Brilliant, guys. So, uh, Avengers Dark Heart. Okay, turn to the physical bomb on Avengers for 20 seconds. We can keep this up permanently because, as earlier I said, it's a rigor zodiac. I suppose spinning with strafe. This can give you your cooldowns. It's going to proc. And you need to keep this buff up all the time. Make sure Vengeance is up all the time. Otherwise, you probably will die because it's a part of your damage reduction. Okay. And also gives you 40% increased damage as well. 50% damage reduction. Then, guys, Blood Vengeance. Your maximum hatred is increased by 25. In addition, 30 hatred and 3 discipline when you heal by health glow. I put this in the build because that way we can recharge our discipline for spamming smoke screen so as you know will know you know as you kill an elite pack and it's sub minions they all drop health gloves and you just pick them all up and bang you got your full discipline bar again and you just go you just keep spamming to the next elite pack I always progress the next elite pack elite pack elite pack sort of thing kill all their minions off of that and the main guy pick up the globes and recharge your discipline and just keep on zooming keep on zooming keep on zooming it's great i love it tactical advantage guys speed boost from smoke screen Ambush, you do a 40% additional damage to enemies above 75% health. Then Cold the Weak, guys, for increased damage, gets slowed or chilled enemies prompt from bonus, which is cast automatically as well. In the description, guys, of this video, there's a snack guide for all the best rolls of this gear. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more Diablo content. Have fun in Sanctuary, guys. Thanks for watching, man. Take care and enjoy the build.